Welcome today to be inspired, motivated, and uplifted by God's Word. Have you been a slave? Have you been oppressed for long, and you have been asking God to come to your rescue? The strong giant holding you to ransom could be in any form, but be rest assured that even if the devil is holding you down and oppressing you, God is the only way out. You are born to be great, before you became bound by grief and the invisible pain set in. The world has its way to bond one in its chains of slavery. The body may be the victim, but the soul is born in the pain and sorrow. You cry out loud as though the pain will save you from your oppressor. The world cannot make you a slave and save you out of it. You were happy before you made that decision. Your ways were smooth until you chose that wrong path. You have received the power to be free. You are no more bound by the power of your limitations and weakness. Oppression takes away your right and makes you a slave. You were strong before you fall. Your sins have been broken and destroyed at your repentance. There isn't any power that will stop your decision, but there are always ends to every decision. You are either blessed or destroyed. The path of the just shines brighter onto the perfect days. It could be your sins, inadequacies, or powerlessness that may have led you into the oppression. There is a power that can deliver you from your oppression. There is a life that can get outside the bondage. You cannot continue to live in the pains of intimidation. The fear of confronting the giant oppressor has taken the place of courage in you. Stop the feelings of pretense. You need the freedom from oppression. The power in you is greater than the confrontations you are facing and the bondage of the devil to tie you in the chains of addiction, fear, failure, and lust. Jesus led captivity captive. He is the Son of the Highest. Lift your head and stretch out your hands for help. Make a shout for help and let him hear your voice. He mends a broken heart. He heals a wounded soul. He delivered the oppressed. He gave hope to the hopeless. He is the solution at hand. Stand on your feet and realize the dangers of the silence. You cannot be free when you are in silence. You cannot be free when you have not lifted your hands to seek the help of a deliverer. You need the help. You can only have the help when you ask for help. You cannot talk about freedom from your oppressor if you have not acknowledged the need to be free. You have to see the danger and the reasons you have to come out of it. You have to desire freedom. There must be a hunger for the freedom. God does not respond to cry. He responds to your hunger. He responds to the willful desire. You say to yourself, this situation is bad and I am going to do everything to get myself out of it. I am getting out of it soon. These are the resolution that brings the hunger for freedom and this is when you are on the road of a breakthrough. There are always opportunities to be free, but in Christ, you are free indeed. For whoever the Son of God set free, he is free indeed. Have you seek the help of God? You need the mercy of the Lord to pull you out. Have you heard what he is saying to you? Have you been wounded and your heart bleeding in sorrow and pains? God could heal it by preparing your great miraculous freedom. He turns every situation to bless you. God attends to a humble and a remorse heart. Your sin leads you into the path of oppression. The devil would have not gotten you if you have not decided to do the wrong act. Many in life have been subjected to the wicked oppression of the devil. They are suffering in the chains of addiction, drugs, banditry, terrorism, wicked leadership. 430 years, the people of God were oppressed by the wicked Pharaoh of Egypt, torments and torture against the will of the Lord. They were subjecting to the suffering. Their pains ask for freedom. At the time of intervention, 
God gave them freedom from their oppressor. They wouldn't have been free without the miraculous intervention of God to free them from the hand of their strong oppressor. Your fear will be taken away when you make the steps of freedom. You don't fight with fear. Your weakness will not give you the strength. You have to muster that courage to fight it out for yourself to be free. God makes your stumbling blocks to become your stepping stones. He makes your shame to become your fame. If he can turn the rejected stone to become the chief cornerstone, then there is nothing impossible for him to do. You will be made strong and will be a means to build you into a great icon. The situation is not your name. It's not a permanent problem for you. Though the tears may last for the nights while you stand your feet, refuse to be defeated. Joy will fill your mouth. The devil may have struck you with the bitterness, emotional, and to heart to defeat you and reduce you to nothing. But God is changing it into a process to make you strong, to build your faith, to bring you closer and give you all that you have not received before. The later years of Job were glorious than the former. The same situation the devil uses to afflict Job, the devil planted bitterness, hopelessness, sorrow, sickness, loneliness. But little did the devil know that God was using it to beautify the life of Job. After the rain comes the sunshine. He met the light at the end of the dark tunnel. You are not exempted from the blessings. You have to come to God and be free. The tears, murmuring, and complaining will not give you the freedom from your oppression. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be blessed. You have an inheritance in God. You have to arise and take them. The affliction cannot deny you the joy of the good life. No man can save you unless God. No plan of man, no scheme of hell can keep you down and out of the reach of the Lord. God is taking you by his hands into your freedom, through the thorns and through the rough roads to a place of perfect blessing, health and fame. With long life will he satisfy you and establish you. You will not be afraid of the projections of the enemy because he has you in the hollows of his hands. Faithful is he that will deliver you and give you freedom from your oppressor. Your life will produce a better life after the days of painful experience. It will produce humility and you will learn to be humble to the will of the Lord. Blessed are the poor in the spirit, those who are weak in the spirit. In turn, they will see God. That is true. And he will give you his power to be a good ambassador for the kingdom of God. Everything that happens on earth is God allowing it to bring us back to him, to establish the righteousness of his kingdom. Don't think God is not aware of your situation. Never let go of God and seek help from the world because everything the world gives is temporary and never lasts. The devil gives and takes in a higher fold. The devil will give in exchange for your soul. The point of attraction is your soul. Our Lord is interested in saving your soul, but the devil is interested in destroying it. Stick to God because he will make things great and deliver you from the hard times, give you freedom from your oppressor. While you are going through these pressures and pains, you have to stand upon the promise of the Lord to sustain your faith. God is always with you. You don't have to fear anymore. Build your courage and confidence and trust in the Lord at all times. He will not forsake you, nor let you down in the face of challenges when you make him the Lord of your life. Understand that God is in control and never be in doubt when you want to pray. You pray without a doubt in your heart because that could also stop your prayers. You see the light and you see the hand of God working great things in you, fighting your battles and bringing you out of the bondage giving you the answers to your prayers. In times like this, all you have to do is to be focused on God. Make your faith stronger, 
Speak words of life into your soul and strengthen yourself in the Lord. Tell the righteousness that is well within them. Tell yourself it is well with me. I shall not die. I am the redeemed of the Lord. I am strong. I am free always. Generate the strength from the spirit. Pray more to be free from the power of fear. The spirit gives boldness and power. You can confront the fear and intimidating force. You can fight the power of the Lord. You have the Holy Spirit in you. You have the power from the Holy Spirit. He tells you the actions and the way you will take. What to say, tells you what to pray. You cannot continue to be manipulated and controlled by situations and oppressors. You are free. You have the blood that sets you free. The blood speaks of your freedom, life. It wants to make you worthy if it is your sin. You cannot allow your boss in your office to oppress you anymore. You are the real you. You must break out of the chains. You have to break out of your shells. You have to rise. Raise your hands to receive help. Your oppressor does not want you to be free, but you want to be free. Take your freedom by force. You deserve to be free. You have the right to freedom from any hand, oppressor. Your heart must be ready to take the risk of the task. You don't win when you stop the fight. You don't stop when you are discouraged. You don't stop when you are tired. You stop when you are free. You relax when it is finally over. You stop when everything you have lost is restored. You relax when your fears have turned to strength and you are stronger than you were before. It is in you. Dare to do it. Attempt to be free. There is no life without freedom. Your freedom is your life. God is about to deliver you from the oppressor and you will be free forever. Whosoever the Son of Man sets free is free indeed.